Hello students! It's now time to learn and explore life with technology and livelihood education. I am your TLE buddy, Teacher Jeff, and you're watching DepEd TV. Do you have an idea what ICT stands for? Information and Communication Technology or ICT is the mode used to communicate, create, design, store, and manage information. It had been an integral tool in the teaching learning process. But ICT does not only end inside the four corners of the classroom because in today's era, access to the internet is already available to individuals, companies, schools, and other organizations in gathering and sharing information. As technology spread around the globe, it is also important for a person to use these ways with great safety, responsibility, and appropriateness. So you should know how to distinguish what is acceptable and safe and what is not. Learning the basics about wiki and blog could not only help you tremendously in doing your research and ensuring help in the community of getting reliable information, but it will also help others in the same manner. Together, let us be excited to learn a new lesson that would broaden our knowledge about ICT. In our previous episode, we discussed that needs are basic necessities of people such as food, clothing, and shelter while wants are goods that people desire or wish to have. As an entrepreneur, it is important that we follow the buying and selling process. Now let's move on to our new lesson about posting and sharing materials on wikis and blogs in a safe and responsible manner. This time, I want you to be familiar with the words that we will encounter in this episode. Can you guess these unfamiliar words? Arrange the given letters to identify the unfamiliar words. Ready? This word refers to a website that allows collaborative editing of its content and structure by its users. And the first word is wiki. This word is a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. And the second word is internet. This word is derived from words web and logs. And the third word is blog. How about ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communications Technology, which refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications like mobile phones, laptops, and computers. Remember this word so that it will be easier for you to fully understand our lesson for today. Get a piece of paper and a pen and answer the questions that will be shown on the screen. Read and understand each statement carefully. Choose the letter of the best answer and write it on your answer sheet. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. What does ICT stand for? Letter A. Information and Computer Technology Letter B. Information and Community Technology Letter C. Information, Compensation and Technology Letter D. Information and Communications Technology Number 1. Letter D. Information and Communications Technology Number 2. What is the meaning of Wiki? Letter A. Wiki helps to communicate effectively Letter B. Wiki can bring nations together through the sharing of ideas and resources. Letter C. Wiki is a piece of server software that allows users to create an information database and edit freely. Letter D. All of the above. Number 2. Letter C. Wiki is a piece of server software that allows users to create an information database and edit freely. Number 3. What is the meaning of a blog? Letter A. It is a simple diary where people post daily events of their lives. Letter B. It is a highly social tool designed to build relationship and network. Letter C. 
It is a piece of server software that allows students to create an information database and edit. Letter D, all of the above. Number three, letter D, all of the above. Number four, this feature includes a file of all published on that blog since the beginning, making it very easy to find all their posts. Letter A, link. Letter B, post. Letter C, archives. Letter D, commenting feature. Number four, letter C, archives. Number five, what is the meaning of the Hawaiian word wiki? Letter A, fly. Letter B, fast. Letter C, slow. Letter D, server. Number five, letter B, fast. Number six, a wiki is a piece of server that allows users to blank web page content using any web browser. Letter A, link. Letter B, post. Letter C, archives. Letter D, commenting feature. Number six, letter A, link. Number seven, this is something you must avoid in using Wiki to avoid internet predators. Letter A, avoid sharing your identity. Letter B, avoid deleting useful content. Letter C, avoid deleting without justifying. Letter D, all of the above. Number seven, letter D, all of the above. Number eight, all are examples of wiki sites except one. A, Wikipedia. Letter B, wiki travels. C, wiki species. Letter D, wiki animals. Number eight, letter D, wiki animals. Number nine, what is a blogger? Letter A, one who creates a blog. Letter B, also called a wiki application. Letter C, a tool used to search website. And letter D, a website where writers share their personal experience. Number nine, letter A, one who creates a blog. Number 10, it is something that enables one to pass or gain admission, such as a sequence to access to a computer system. Letter A, login. Letter B, search. Letter C, password. And letter D, username. And number 10, letter A, login. So, what's your score? If you got 10, very good. You're on the right track. If not, that's okay. I will guide you all throughout the episode so you can learn more. Have you ever tried to read a story online about a person who tells his or her experiences? What technology did he or she use to share his or her experiences? Here are some communication technologies that you can use to share about yourself and experiences. Can you identify some of them that you can use in your studies and in your daily living? How can you effectively use them in a safe and responsible manner? Do you know what a wiki is? Wiki is a web application that allows collaborative editing of its content and structure by its user. It supports hyperlinks and has simple text syntax that allows users to easily create new pages and cross links between internal pages. The term wiki is actually from a Hawaiian word that means quick or fast. The most popular wiki is the Wikipedia. It is a free, open-content online encyclopedia where registered users can publish an article and anybody can edit its content. Open editing has some advantages. It allows everyday users to create and edit any page in a website, encourages the democratic use of the web, and promotes content composition by non-technical users. However, it also has its disadvantages, for example, it could allow the inclusion of unreliable or unverified web content. Wiki is different from a blog because it allows us to add, 
edit or delete content that is posted on the website while blog does not allow others to modify the original material posted. Next is the proper and safe use of wiki. Safe use requires responsibility, appropriateness, and common sense. As a learner, you should know what is acceptable and safe and what is not. Just like everything else, wiki and the web also have risk. Here are some of the things you need to avoid in using wiki. Make sure all personal information and passwords are kept private. Never put any contact details online and ensure passwords are difficult to guess. Be truthful in your content. Write only what is based on facts and real life and not on opinions. Avoid using foul words to people in general. Plan your wiki content carefully. Make sure your sources are reliable. Give credit where credit is due. Never meet up with people you only knew online. Meeting someone from chat rooms and social networking sites could be dangerous. Do not open emails from strangers and unknown sources. Email and attachments may contain viruses or threats that can harm your computer. Not all information online are reliable. There are lots of information on the internet that are not true. Tell a trusted adult if anything online makes you feel uncomfortable or threatened. Here are the steps to create a wiki. Number one, choose a host to use from a number of paid and free wiki hosting services. Some examples are iMeet Desktop, Wikia, or Wikidot. Number two, click on the Start a Wikia button on Wikia Web to bring you to the Wikia creation form. Number three, decide on the name of your wiki. Number four, choose your URL or address for your site. Number five, describe your wiki's topic briefly. Number six, choose category that best describes the subject of your wiki. Number seven, choose a theme. Number eight, click view my wiki. And presto, you have created your own wiki. Next, we will show you the different types of wiki websites. Wikipedia. This is free, open, and multilingual online encyclopedia where any user can collaboratively contribute and edit the article. WikiWiki Web. This is the oldest, most open, easiest, and fastest web-based collaborative tool in the world. Wiktionary. This is an online multilingual dictionary that contains the meaning, origin, and pronunciations of words. Wikicode. This is a collection of reference or quotations from well-known people, books, movies, and the like. Wikiversity. This site supports free learning communication, projects, materials, and other learning resources that may be used in all levels, types, and styles of education. Wikitravel. This is a travel guide that uses a Wikimedia software. It provides information about the history, people, culture, and background of different countries. Wiki species. This is a directory of species of all forms of life ranging from animalia, plantae, fungi, bacteria, and the like. Wiki news. This is a compilation of news story made possible through collaborative journalism. Wiki books. This is a free library of educational books and manuals that may be edited, changed, and improved by anyone. What is blog? Blog is derived from the words web logs. BusinessDictionary.com defines blog as a website similar to an online journal that includes chronological entries made by individuals. It provides users with forums or a comment area to talk about each posting. Please take note of the following. Blogging can be useful for you as it helps improve reading and writing skills, makes them more creative, provides a tool for collaboration, fuels their desire for learning. While blogging is useful, you must be aware of the following internet safety tips. Do not use any personal information such as last name, contact numbers, and others. Do not post offensive photos. Do not compete with other bloggers. Do not use your blogs to harm other people. Look at this image. Are you familiar with this login environment? This site will require you to enter your username and password before you can log in. 
why do you think websites require you to log in? These are the steps on how you're going to create a blog. Number one, open google.com in your browser. Number two, click create a blog for free. Number three, choose personal. Number four, click next. Number five, enter your username of your choice and click continue. Number six, you can sign up with Facebook. Enter your email address, then your password. Number seven, now you have created an account for your blog, you can now create your own blog, which you can post and share later. Note, make sure you comply with the blogger content policy and terms of service. Now that we know how to create a wiki and a blog, let us now identify whether the following statement is safe or not safe. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. You may write your answer in your answer sheet. Number 1. Delete reliable information on wiki. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 2. Trust all information taken from the internet. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 3. Avoid using words that are offensive to people. And the correct answer is safe. Number 4. Post pictures with an unpleasant caption. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 5. Post information that are true and are based on facts. And the correct answer is safe. Number 6. Carefully plan the content for your wiki. And the correct answer is safe. Number 7. You may share your password to your trusted friend. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 8. Use another person's account without their permission. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 9. Attack personalities on wiki. And the correct answer is not safe. Number 10. Avoid leaving rude comments. And the correct answer is safe. If you got a perfect score, congrats! You're doing great. If your score is 6 and above, you're on the right track. If 5 and below, that's okay. We will review this lesson on our next episode. Having online accounts has become one of our basic needs. In June 2012, the right to access the internet was declared a human right by the United Nations Human Rights Council. We use it for communication and entertainment. We must keep in mind that people will sometimes identify us based on what we post in wikis or blogs. We should always be extra careful in using the internet. Read everything thoroughly with understanding. Never share or like based on fame and popularity. Always think before you click. Remember, Wiki is a web application that allows collaborative editing of its content and structure by its user. It supports hyperlinks and has simple text syntax that allows users to easily create new pages and cross links between internal pages. Safety requires responsibility, appropriateness, and common sense. So, a student should know what is acceptable and safe and what isn't in using information and communications technology. I hope that you have learned a lot today. Just have faith in God and ask Him to direct your ways according to His plans. This has been your TLE buddy, Teacher Jeff, saying, Be future ready with TLE. Don't forget our hashtag, hashtag SkillsMosagotCo, and hashtag DepEdTV.